El Sueño's offering to give us Agent Sandoval's recorded conf... Hola. Our contacts at the gas company wanted to thank you for taking care of their cartel problem. Buckle now up, the workers people. and their families feel a whole lot safer. Swinius of the audio recorder is here. Exercise some extreme caution, people. We have no idea what we're walking into. to do you any good, so I chalk this up to professional courtesy. <laughs> it was me. I blew up the embassy in La Paz. You blew up the U.S. embassy in La Paz? Yeah. And it wasn't some DEA or CIA false flag bullshit. The rebels helped with the op, but it was me. Why bomb your own embassy? I had no choice. My bosses were gonna pull me out of Bolivia. No one gave a shit about what you were doing down here. No one wanted to commit... to commit any resources to... to stopping you assholes. I... I needed them to pay attention. And for that, I needed theater. And people don't pay attention at the theater unless somebody dies. Go on, I'll meet you. Hostiles in the area. Two Sicarios. Close to the camera trees. <laughs> Fucking hell. How is this shit possible? What do you want to do, boss? Send it to Bowman. Then ask her for some goddamn truth. There. Yes. What the fuck is going on? Nomad, I don't know what to say. You can start with the goddamn truth. Did you know Ricky bombed the embassy? 
Did you help? Of course not. I had no fucking idea. Ricky, he... messed up. Messed up? Messed up? Bowman, the entire reason we are here, the whole goddamn operation, all of this is a big fucking lie. You think I don't know that? He was my fucking friend. He burned me harder than anyone on this. So what are you gonna do about it? Sueño is still a plague. This doesn't change that. He deserves to go to prison for the rest of his life. Prison? He deserves to get lit the fuck up and dragged through the streets by dogs. Fuck prison. I don't know. You don't know? Wait, what do you mean, you don't know? I mean, I don't know. I... I need time. I need to think. Bowman out. We've received word from... El Sueño wants to meet. Maybe he wants to negotiate, maybe he wants to kill you. Either way, watch your ass. I asked Pakatari to send us a vehicle.
We've got a large cartel base. Keep your eyes open. Still don't see anybody. What the fuck is going on? Stay sharp. Watch for an ambush. Phone. That's no IED. It's ringing too much. Find it. There's the phone. We're gonna answer. I ain't picking that shit up. Fuck's sake. Hola, caballeros. This is El Sueño. It is a pleasure to finally speak with you. And here I thought we were gonna meet face to face. Don't tell me you're running late. I apologize for the subterfuge. But people in our line of work, we must be cautious. But I am not the liar. There are no Sicarios in your area. No Unidad. I only wish to talk. Tell us where you are, then we'll talk. I am only attempting to end the bloodshed. There is no need for it. It's bad for my business. And it is bad for Bolivia. This country has been trying to get back on its feet for decades. Do not kick it back down. This is the guy who turned this country into his own personal glory hole. You got something of value to say? There are four cars in front of you. Consider them a signing bonus. You better say that again. Must be something wrong with my hearing. You want to hire us? You're four of the most dangerous people alive. Of course I want to hire you. Every day you risk your life for your country. And your government pays you casi nada. Put those skills to work for me. For Santa Blanca. And you will make more money than you can imagine. Sorry, but we're gonna have to politely ask you to go fuck yourself. See, we only came to this meeting to kill you. The fact that you aren't here just means you get a little more time on this earth. But I figure you should start saying your goodbyes. Because we're coming for you. And we're gonna burn you down. So be it. I will enjoy watching you try. Bowman, we're still breathing. The Sueño made us a pretty lucrative job offer. Job offer? Did you take it? Benefits package wasn't great. We told him we were gonna kill him. So you're stuck with us for now. Fair enough. Be in touch. Hang on, I'll drive. I got the C4 primed. The demo's primed.
We've received word from Pat Katari that one of his rebels might have discovered El Sueño's location. Talk to the rebel and find out what he knows. I asked the Rebels to send over a vehicle for us. I got it. I'll fly. I'm cool. Let's move. RV. Something isn't right. Come on, move. Shit, I got a body here. It's that rebel leader Amaru. We freed that guy from the cartel. I'm trying to call Pack, but it isn't going through. Think Pack and his rebels threw down with the cartel, and Pack had to run? It doesn't look like there was much of a fight here. I'm calling Bowman. Maybe she's heard from Pack. Bowman, we've got a situation. We set up a meet with Pack and one of his guys. With Pack? Where are you? Listen, instead of Pak, we found Amaru. He's been killed. Have you heard from Pakatari? Pakatari is here with me in Pakara. Boom. Boom. What the hell is going on here? No idea, but we gotta get to Bowman, fast. Never thought I'd hear myself say this about a CIA officer, but if they hurt her, I'll burn this whole fucking country down to get back at them. Right there with you, man. Bowman said Pak was with her, then the call got cut off. Might be the sad phone. Drop the call. Might be packed. Fucked us. Weaver, can you track Bowman's last known in Pakara? Got it. Bowman. Pack Atari. What about him? He turned on us. 
We were sent here as a diversion. Diversion from what? Sueño. The rebels found out where he is. Get to the mausoleum. I'll meet you there. Nomad? You understand what this means, right? From here on out, Pakatari and the rebels are no longer our allies. Contact! Rebel hostile! Hold on. Uh, fucking hell! use it for irrigation. Seems like overkill. I reckon somebody was optimistic about agriculture in Bolivia. Bird approaching. Stay down. Got a tango. Show us your fucking hands now. I would, but unfortunately, my hands are full at the moment. Where is he? I want to see the big bad heifer. Put it down. As you wish. Adios, Senor Katari. You have five seconds to get on your knees and interlace your fingers before I put a hollow point through your forehead. You're going to want to answer your phone, Officer Bowman. Hello? Sir? Yes. Yes, I, I don't understand. Sir. Sir, that is not possible. I am telling you that it's not... Please, I am asking you that you... Sir. Yes, I understand. Bowman? Fuck you! Fuck! Bowman, what is it? Bowman! He got full immunity. He got... He made a deal and he got... A deal with Fuck! who? Who do you think? The DOJ! Hold on. Hold on. You're not he saying... He offered up the heads of four other cartels, plus three terror groups that traffic heroin. His competition. How is this possible? As I told you. If you have power, everything else follows. Now, if you don't mind, Senora Bowman, it seems that yesterday you were my adversary. 
Today you are nothing but my chauffeur. Take me to your supervisors. I'm sorry. Bowman, no! <clears throat> The dream is dead. If you're watching this, that means I have executed El Sueño. I'm certain that people will think I went crazy. That I did it out of emotion, that I broke. Fuck them. They're wrong. I knew exactly what I was doing. This piece of shit, this monster, tortured my friend. Killed him. Decapitated my partner. Massacred thousands. And he gets to walk? Uh, sorry, but not on my fucking watch. Given what El Sueño knew about Ricky Sandoval, he would have been unstoppable. Trivia question. What happens when you give immunity to a drug lord? Ding, ding, ding. You get a dictator. Taking out a drug lord is one thing, but stopping a dictator? You need a few more than four operators for that. My career, my freedom, my life is not worth more than the people of South America. Obviously, not everyone agrees, which is why I'm most likely now in a federal correctional institute, getting three hots in a cot for the next 45 to life for murder. By now, CIA has probably released an official statement saying, the case officer in question is no longer employed by this agency and acted in direct opposition to her superiors. Her actions have caused great harm to the continued efforts of the intelligence community here and abroad. And guess what? They're right. I would have done the same thing as them. No hard feelings here. I just hope they don't leave Bolivia. Without Pakatari, the rebellion will tear itself apart with infighting. Unidad will make a deal with the next criminal organization that comes along. And the remains of Santa Blanca will split off and form new mini-cartels. All with shitty names like Nueva Frontera Cartel, Berrio Familia and Los Hijo del Sueño. Everyone will continue killing each other for that coca. I wonder, if God knew all the destruction that this little leaf would bring, would she have still created it? Or maybe that's exactly why she did. I don't even know anymore. But it's no longer my question to answer. So I leave you with this. In the dying words of Augustus, founder and first emperor of the Roman Empire, have I played the part well? Then applaud as I exit. Bowman out. <laughs>